Nasarawa State Business and Investment Climate has garnered significant attention from both local and foreign investors, drawn by a combination of factors that make Nasarawa a prime destination for economic activities. The state investment climate is characterized by diverse opportunities across sectors, solid minerals to infrastructure development attracting the interest of companies for international market penetration. From consistent business-friendly policies to robust government support, Nasarawa State has positioned itself as a leading choice for investment, offering a conducive environment that not just entrepreneurship and innovation. Today, I'm talking with the Managing Director, Chief Executive Officer of Nasarawa Investment and Development Agency, Mr. Ibrahim Abdullahi. Good afternoon, MD. It's good to see you. Uh, good afternoon. A pleasure to see you again. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Yes. Uh, yes. I'm going to take it up straight from my discussion the last time with the Excellency, the Governor of your state, the Governor of Nasarawa State, Mr. Abdullahi Asule. We talked about the lithium thing, and we saw that launch. That was historic, significant. Tell us about this and how this will promote the economic transformation you've been talking about in Nasarawa State. Uh, thank you very much. What is happening uh, today in Nasarawa is unprecedented and uh, serves as uh, a shining example of uh, what is possible if uh, we have a committed political leadership. Um, as you know, Nasarawa is one of the most mineralized states uh, in the country. We have uh, lithium in abundant commercial uh, quantity all uh, across uh, the belt of the state. But over the years, we've had uh, mining companies uh, doing this exploration and cutting away uh, these natural resources uh, out of the state and out of the country with zero value addition. Uh, this doesn't serve uh, our people. This doesn't serve our country. And we're losing jobs uh, to this singular act. And we are also uh, losing revenue. Uh, so what is happening is that uh, the government of Nasarawa State, uh, led by His Excellency Engineer Abdullah Isule, is leading from the front and doing an intensive advocacy and a hand-holding uh, for investors to actually invest uh, in value addition of lithium. When you process uh, this lithium in Nasarawa State, you create jobs for the immediate communities and you also earn, uh, we also get to earn some revenue uh, for the country. Uh, the moment we begin to insist on value addition, you will see that uh, there will be an influx of investors within that value chain. You know what uh, lithium is being used to produce uh, globally around the world. Why aren't companies coming to set up in Nigeria where they have access to this natural resource. Uh, that is what the government of Nasarawa State is insisting. And we're very excited that this is yielding results. Uh, His Excellency, the governor, has been uh, going around commissioning um, uh, processing plants that are keen into uh, this vision of his uh, for value addition to be done for these minerals. Um, over the uh, 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 course of the last two weeks, uh, two uh, processing plants for lithium have been commissioned in the state. Uh, a smaller one, about uh, 400 metric tons per day, uh, lithium processing plant uh, in, in Robwa, which happens to be my own village, actually. Uh, and uh, the second, uh, first of its kind, 4,000 uh, tons per uh, a day lithium processing plant. That's about the largest in the country and first of its kind. It's about 100 million US dollar investment. It was uh, commissioned by His Excellency President Bola Ahmed Tinubu uh, just last Friday. Big. A lot of work is going on and um, ahead of um, the investment summit, uh, which this time around is uh, uh, taken at the turn the industrial renaissance. Uh, what does this really hold uh, for those that would attend and, of course, prospective investors? Well, 
thank you very much. So the investment, the National Investment Summit 2024 is building on the success of our inaugural summit, uh, which was in uh, 2022. And uh, uh, recall that at our inaugural investment summit, we, it, it was, it was um, like a launching pad for the state to say that this is what Nasarawa State is made of, these are our potentials. We're very aware and we're, we're sure that the world is aware of the potentials in Nasarawa State. Now, more than ever, we're saying that the state uh, serves as a shining example of what some nationals uh, can do in making sure that Nigeria is not just a a consuming country, but a producing country. Um, what are the critical enablers of industrialization? Getting a policy right and political will, and getting the um, ancillary enabling infrastructure that supports uh, production and the drive for industrialization in the state. Uh, playing a hand-holding role in uh, bringing in investors, both domestic and foreign, into the state. Um, so at the core of uh, the conversation uh, starting on Wednesday at the Second National Investment Summit is uh, the need for the need to build the critical infrastructure that will power up uh, Nasarawa's industrialization and invariably Nigeria's industrialization because we're not just uh, in close proximity to the federal capital territory, Abuja, we're also a gateway state uh, to many other parts uh, of Nigeria. So this summit is to say that uh, beautiful things are happening in Nasarawa. Uh, we have about uh, four uh, key factors playing to our advantage, which is the Nasarawa advantage. The first is political will and policy. Uh, the second is geography being at the very center of Nigeria. The third is natural resource being one of the most mineralized states in the country, also blessed with arable, fertile land for agriculture. And the fourth is our people. Our people uh, are brilliant, uh, are resilient, uh, are hardworking, are innovative, and our diversity also uh, adds up uh, to, uh, to to the richness and strength uh, of our people. Mm, interesting stuff. We also expect to see uh, investments and, of course, and projects showcasing at this event and a deal room for transactions. Also, a roundtable for oil and gas and MSME uh, exposed. Can you shed more light on this? Okay, thank you very much. So, you know, typically when you go for uh, uh, e events uh, or platforms or uh, conferences all around the world, uh, it's mere uh, talk shops and people just go uh, have conversations and do networking. So we're going further than this in NASA because for us it's not, uh, we're not uh, we're not uh, uh, an event organizer, we're not a networking platform, but we're a government that is very serious and very ambitious about the development of its people. But that is why we've uh, created deal rooms with uh, pre-print projects that are investment ready. And these projects cut across different sectors. So if you are an investor and or a prospective investor, you can come into uh, the summit and go into the deal room and see seven different projects at various stages of development that you can key in uh, to partner with the state. We're also providing our land bank services for investors who are interested in doing large-scale commercial agriculture in the state to come and uh, express their interest and we will take things further. Uh, there's going to be projects show showcased to exhibit the projects that have done really well uh, and are recording and achieving success in the state so that people will see that uh, businesses are actually moving into the state and are getting tremendous support 
and invariably impacting in their businesses. On the second day, we're also going to play host to industry leaders within the energy space, uh, that is oil and gas and renewable, to launch the Nasawa uh, Gas uh, Utilization Master Plan. Uh, we know that uh, gas is a very critical infrastructure that will power up industrialization, and in partnership with the NMTC and the Gas Aggregation Company of Nigeria, we are launching uh, our own state uh, gas master plan. As you know, Nasrao State is on the tee of, of the AKK pipeline, and we're leveraging uh, proximity to this pipeline to bring in more companies, more industries to come into the state to do business. We're also going to have uh, an MSME challenge, not to leave out small businesses uh, from uh, this very ambitious movement happening in our state. So small businesses will compete uh, for money price. Um, these businesses have to be businesses that operate uh, in Nassau State. You will realize that most of these businesses are being spearheaded by young people. So that is also government's response uh, to the innovative ideas of young people. So they will compete uh, for this price money, and we hope that businesses that are both commercially viable and economically impactful will emerge out of uh, this context. Um, we will uh, obviously unveil and sign up uh, a couple of uh, agreements, uh, expressions of interest uh, from investors. So it's really uh, going to be an exciting uh, next couple of days uh, here in Lafia, in Nasarawa State. And we're grateful to all our partners and investors that continue to express interest in doing business in Nasarawa State. Mm. Sounds really good. Uh, so moving forward, <clears throat> now um, there's been fallout from, like you said, the conference before now. For me, I like to take that very importantly. Um, most of the promises or what needs to be done by state government to kickstart this uh, investment drive, how well have you also done that? I know you have a document, the Nasarawa Economic Development Strategic uh, development strategy, that's NEDS 2019 to 2023. How well are you following through this document and making the state, again, as attractive as it should be for investors? Um, thank you very much. We've been following that strategy document religiously. Uh, interestingly, when Governor Abdullah Isuli launched uh, the policy document, the Nasa Economic Development Strategy, it was the first time in the history of the state that a government will announce, uh, and launch, and implement a very formidable policy document that speaks to its own aspirations and ambition uh, for realizing economic growth uh, for, for our people. And um, so far, the, the, the most critical piece in that uh, policy document is the need to embark on a holistic uh, reset and reform of our business environment. We realize that our biggest role as government is to be an enabler, uh, to hold the hands of the private sector and ensure that we unblock all the barriers that continue to impede doing business in our state. We have done this in a very remarkable way. Uh, we have improved uh, land uh, uh, administration. We've reformed uh, uh, revenue uh, 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 collection. We've also reformed our fiscal and financial management system. We've reformed our interface with citizens and businesses. All of our uh, business-related MDAs, that is MDAs, that offer services to citizens and businesses have been digitized. So from the um, click of your keyboard or on your mobile phone, you can apply online to get your business premises permit in Nassau State. You can also apply online to get a building approval. 
You can also begin your the process of uh, registering your land title to get a CFO in a matter of uh, 10 business working days once you submit your application. These are um, uh, usual procedures that can be time consuming and also can be very discouraging for investors. We've realized this in Nasara and we're taking it really seriously. We've also gone further to reform even our justice uh, administration system by introducing small claims courts uh, for speedy administration of justice. And we're currently uh, working in partnership with the state attorney general to introduce an ADR alternative dispute res resolution mechanism, institutionalize it so that uh, people can get quick and speedy uh, uh, dispensation of justice in the state. These are all factors that add to the ease of doing business in any given environment. We're taking it very seriously. When you also talk about the output from the last summit, uh, a couple of businesses have uh, uh, expressed interest in uh, 2022 at the inaugural summit. And today we've seen many of those businesses begin to launch in the state. And uh, this also speaks to the very important hand-holding role that we continue to play as government. Uh, I said two weeks ago, uh, the governor launched and commissioned uh, a lithium processing plant. Just on Friday, the, uh, the president, the governor joined the president to commission another lithium processing plant. We commissioned the phase one of the Nasarawa Technology uh, Village, uh, the Greenville, first of its kind, uh, CNG hub uh, in the North Central is also about to be commissioned, uh, ready to be commissioned sometime next week. So very interesting things are happening. Um, uh, we continue to get expressions of interest for large-scale commercial agriculture in different parts of the state. And these are at various uh, stages of community engagement, payment of compensation, uh, you know, before the move into the lands to begin uh, production. So I would say that we've, we've achieved quite well since uh, the last summit, and we hope to even do more. But what is important to note is that the key fundamentals uh, that will propel any state anywhere in the world uh, to grow its economy, leveraging the private sector and uh, private sector expertise and capital, are adequately being put in place in Nasarawa State. And this uh, has taken us a couple of years since the coming into office of Governor Abdullah Isuli, but we're very glad that it is yielding results. But that's not to say that we will rest on our oars. We'll continue to work. We'll continue to work uh, on improving our business environment um, every day. All right, then we wish you all the best. The event is for 15th and 16th, that's um, later this week. All the best, and uh, we'll keep uh, a tab on developments in Nasarawa State. Thank you. Thank you very much, Anthony.